I love using Creative Fabrica for all of my print-on-demand designs, but once in a while you may run into the following situation. You may download, for example, a retro ghost image like this, and sometimes when you're downloading these images, you may find that the image is not one individual ghost, but it's a whole plate of ghosts. So now you're stuck with one PNG file or one SVG file, and the question becomes, how do you split out those files? So I'm gonna show you that in this video. Okay, so if you're using an image file, then you could use Photoshop or Affinity Photo. But if you don't own that software, here's a free option. This is photop.com, it's completely free. It's like an online Photoshop clone. I'm gonna to go to File and Open. From here, I've got my sticker sheet. I'm gonna select the first one, and that will open up here. And using the little arrow tool, the Move tool, I can simply just drag this around. I could resize it, I could stretch it, I could do all sorts of things with it, but it's still one image. So how do I isolate the unicorn on the right? I wanna isolate the blue unicorn and just use him and him only. So what I'm gonna do is over on the left, there's a rectangle tool. It's called a rectangle select. I'm gonna select that. And then using my mouse, I'm just gonna simply drag and create a rectangle around the blue unicorn. And now I'm gonna go edit, copy, and now here's the key. You wanna add a new layer and you're gonna paste in the unicorn. So to add a new layer, over on the right hand side, there's a little layers panel right there. I'm gonna click on layer and now I'm going to add a new layer. So down on the bottom right, I'm gonna click new layer. From here now I've got a new layer selected. I'm simply gonna go edit, paste. Now it's not gonna look any different on the screen until I move my little blue unicorn. You'll notice he's now a copy. So I can make him nice and big and now I've got my unicorn layer. You can actually double click on layer one and you can even type in the word unicorn. You can actually name your layers, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna click on the background layer, right click and delete. And that leaves me with just one layer, which is my nice big blue unicorn. I can now use this unicorn for my print on demand design. For an SVG file, which is a scalable vector graphic file, I suggest using Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape, I go into help about Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape version 1.2. I'm just gonna go up here to file and open. And here I've got my set of ghost cats. Now in a perfect world, you've got all of these open in one file, but if you click on any one of them, they're going to be isolated. You'll see the rectangle around it. That's what you're hoping you're gonna get when you download from Creative Fabrica, because all I need to do now is select the first one and delete it. I can, in fact, I can select any of them that I don't wanna use, and I can delete them all simply by clicking the delete key. I'm just selecting it and delete. And then here I've got my one file. I simply hold down the control key to lock in the aspect ratio, and I can make them nice and big, and I can use this now for my print on demand design. Here's another design that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica, and when I click on it, the whole thing moves around. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes you can segregate out the layers inside the file, and what you can do is double click. And when you double click now, you can actually drag out the different elements of the SVG file, and you can mix and match, and you can recolor them as needed. You can use them individually. That's a pretty cool feature. So here's a great example of a label bundle that I got and sometimes this will all be one file. Now, luckily this is all different files, so I can look through and I can see there's different PNGs, there's different SVGs, but there is a master file here at the bottom of the subset. What you can do when, it's, when this happens is you simply can just hover over in Inkscape and you can see it's starting to recognize what's in there. It's sort of highlighting it. And so let's say I just wanted this one here in the middle, the premium vintage label. What you can do is you can just simply click on other stuff. Like I'm clicking on this vintage design and I'll just click the delete key. Click on this one, click the delete key. Now if you double click, that's where you're gonna get into the individual elements. So you can see now I'm moving stuff around inside. So you wanna be careful not to necessarily double click because now you're gonna be clicking a lot more stuff because you've now segregated out the layer. So I'm gonna to have to go through now and click a bit more here to get rid of this. But for the other ones, you simply click once delete, click once, delete. So you can see very quickly here, I'm just deleting out the rest of what I don't wanna use. And then here I've got the last one. I can simply make it as big as I want because it's a scalable vector graphic. It's very, very crystal clear. And again, if you wanna go into the label, you can simply double click and then you can start pulling out pieces of the label and you can monkey around with different elements inside of it. 
I'll put a link to PhotoP and Inkscape in the video description below. I absolutely love using Creative Fabrica. I'll put a link to Creative Fabrica in the video description below. And if you like what you see, I encourage you to give it a try. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means that if you purchase something off of Creative Fabrica, I would receive a small commission. Check out the size of some of these bundles. 1,000 pages for $3. Now, if you have the all access subscription, of course, you'll see there's no price anywhere for me. I can just simply click the download button and I can start downloading massive bundles all day long. It's an absolutely fantastic deal. I highly, highly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey.